Uh, happy Valentine's Day. I'm sorry we couldn't have. I don't know if anybody fell in love with Marshall women's basketball today. Uh, I, uh, I feel like we let one get away from us right there. And, and everybody's going to talk about the day that Ivy Brown had and blah, blah, blah. But Ivy Brown is part of the three-headed monster. Uh, I think our execution was not very good uh, on either end of the floor. I think it's unfortunate because I think we let one get away. And I think if you are, if you're paying attention at all, Taylor Brown's day really hurt us, um, and we just didn't execute. We didn't execute out of halftime, out of timeouts, either end of the floor, and, and uh, we've got to be better with it's late game, early game. Uh, I think it was the difference in the ball game. Coach, you talk about the the execution or the lack thereof on both sides of the floor, and you also talk about Ivy Brown. Um, in conference this season, she's only shooting 16% from downtown. Shot 100% today. Do you attribute that to her just having a hot hand or, or execution? Yeah, no. She, I mean, I, we we recruited Ivy, so I know her pretty well, and and that's what she did growing up. Uh, she just had to. They were without Tasia Brown today, and uh, she did a good job stepping up. Uh, uh, she she had some open looks, which is unfortunate. Uh, their execution was a little bit better than ours, and and uh, you know, I mean, individually, if you just look at it, she probably, I don't know if she won the game for them, but I, you know, I would look at the others because I know what I know what Ivy's capable of doing. How about the hurdle? Every time you play behind the whole game, fourth quarter, third quarter, tie, they get it back. Tie, you got it here, boom. Yeah. Time after, how much does it take a toll when you do it time after time after time? Well, you know, I mean, we had to, we got to stop with. 23 seconds left, down three. Mm -hmm. um, kind of forced to play there at the end, uh, into traffic. And so I wouldn't say it took its toll. I mean, we just came up short. I mean, we we were in the game, had a chance to win the game, and just didn't close it out. How about the job the girl to your left did today? She did good. I mean, you know, coming off backside steals when her back's turned. Yeah. Runs down a ball, laying in, right into the quarter, step back, hits a three. I'm thinking like, she's doing everything. Yeah. You she's, want. She, I literally, I let the team go out of a timeout and her, her legs were shaking. She was pretty amped up. I said, hey, just relax because she wants to win so bad. And uh, her energy is really good and, and we've got to have her energy. We've got to have her, her, her energy every night. Risha, what about it? The way that goes, but when you come up short, it's got to be like, well, it's off or not. Kind of. I mean, we came up short, but. I mean, your kind of day was, you know, what coach has been liking, but when it's all said and done, you're going to go, they had 80, we had 76, so. Got to go back to work. I don't care if I have 50 points. If we don't come up with a win, yeah. then we got to just worry about the next. We got to worry about Charlotte. We owe Charlotte. This game is behind us. We just got to learn from it. What were you doing? Because a couple of times you came on the back side looked like a steal. They didn't see you coming. Then that one freelance, you went down the middle when the shot clock's about to run out. And then in the quarter, you just went, okay, I'll step back. Was it? Just that's just there. You got to do it because everybody's yelling, shoot. Just reading what the defense gives me, you know. Uh, I forced a couple of balls, but. I'm just reading them, so it's just seeing what it, what I can get and just taking it. I mean, I've been working on different kind of shots and putting up a lot of shots, so I'm confident with what I'm doing, but I'm not going to force too many, so just reading the defense. Norish, I want to touch on something Coach said about it. You guys felt like you kind of let one get away from you guys. How tough is that as a, from a player's perspective to know you guys go beat UTEP? Who then turns around and beats Western Kentucky? You guys know you can hang with this team. How how tough is is this loss for you guys? All losses is tough for me, but I mean, I feel like we kind of let one go. You know, they're they're one of the top teams in the conference, and I feel like we can hang with anybody if we come out and play. So hopefully, we're gonna see them again in the conference tournament and third time the charm. How do you guys come together as a team and sort of build off this and go for it? Like you said, you know you can hang with anybody, but how do you take this and sort of apply it to the next game? Um, watch film, see what we did wrong, critique our, our, the things we didn't execute, and then go to Charlotte and come out with a win. When you start doing free shoot, foul shooting like you've been awesome. You go 14 and 15 today. I wish I could say I took over the foul. And they go 19. And they, you know, the old saying, if you make them, you win, miss them, let them hang around. They're missing, you're going, okay. That's like three games in a row, they only one miss. Yeah, they. Which is pivotal. At some point, it's going to be pivotal. <clears throat> they shot basically double free throws. Uh, so they, they were 19 of 31, and we were 14 of 15. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. 
we're shooting the ball better. I mean, we're pretty good from the field. Our defense is going to be better. Our execution is going to be better. Uh, we did a pretty good job in the first half on the glass. Not so good in the second half on the glass. And uh, we've got to really lock in on that. All right.